the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. Lineups for the game. Things on the way. All the way back, and they start again. Vida. Yarmolenko. Out for a throw. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Thrust towards the front line. Yarmolenko on a strong run down the right. Hurls himself at it! <laughs> get a throw in. again for a throw-in. Well, it's a poor throw, that. Picked off with relative ease. Balls out on the left, now. Still going. Where to next? Up for the header! Harmlessly behind. Yeah, not only do they hit fast on the counter-attack, Peter, but they show terrific effort and desire in, in getting forward in good numbers. Gets it back. Yarmolenko. Flags up. Well, it was the early through ball that almost caught everyone out in that instance, all but for our flag waving assistant referee. Fires from distance. Yarmolenko. That'll be a throw. Knocks it towards the front. Speculative strike. Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and you'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Out to the left it goes. Cuts it out. Forward it goes. 
Played out to the right. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Some astute defending to ensure they got no further. Keeper's got good distance on that. It's good distance on it. And that'll be the final action of the first half. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. That gets things going for the second half. Dinamo Kiev clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Well, that's not going to go down too well with his teammates. were right up against them, but they saved themselves with some very good defending. He had a decision to make there, and he got it absolutely spot on with a beautiful piece of timing in the tackle. Any hesitation then would have either seen him get a card or his team concede a goal. And I can only say, well done, son. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's, that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. Out wide to the right. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Decent ball. so easily have been different well when it becomes that speculative I think it requires something from the very top drawer and he had to think a little bit more about that in the end he's just opted for raw power great leap that's a half decent try oh, he couldn't have hit that any better and any other time it would have sneaked in to the flank. Ball's gone out of play. Towering header! Good to 
delivery, no joy. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Well, this is when your experienced player should come to the fore. They've got to help them keep it better than this. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet. Into extra time we go. Vida. Aim forward. Yarmolenko. Lofted into the middle. And in it goes! Finally the breakthrough! Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header and if you get it slightly wrong then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Dinamo Kiev get themselves into the lead. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Tries to get it forward quickly. Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. <laughs> it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. In for the follow-up, and he's poked it home! And surely that does it! Perfect time, decisive strike! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. We've reached the midway point in extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness... So the last chance to find a winner. It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout. Plays it out to the wing, gets it back. Goes long and forward. Defending was strong and firm. it in, cross deflected behind for a corner, great leap, no he didn't quite meet it right, Well positioned to make that interception. Played into the middle. 
And that may well be that. That is that. Dinamo Kiev did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creation.